welcome back to my channel and today syempre ayan nagbabalik na naman for another review i found out recently that uh, k tokyo has released a new foundation and it is the base zero foundation if you want to know how this foundation works for me please keep on watching until the end of the video so yeah So first of all, we will unbox it first. Alam ang kasi hindi ko naman siya magagamit pag nakabox pa siya. So, okay. Oh! Nalag-lag! So ito yung packaging niya, which is black and really gloss. Medyo mukhang acrylic yung um, the Base Zero packaging. Tapos, ang fancy din niya tignan. Yun nga lang, wala siyang English translation. Naka-Japanese siyang lahat. So, Kato Shikreto Skin Makeup Zero. Ikido. So, they have three claims. It is a high coverage foundation. It blends right into skin. And it is lightweight. Because all heaviness disappears, it says. So, hindi naman niya sinasabi kung long wearing siya. Ang sabi niya lang is um, high coverage and it easily blends. And like, I got this, the base zero in shade 03. And I, alam ko, meron silang five shades. I mean, the middle shade kasi may, hindi naman ako ganun kaputian. Now, let's move on to trying this product and see how it applies on my face. Just like what I did with the Kate Tokyo Powder and Liquid for Cover Foundation. The left part of my face, I would use a brush. And for the right part of my face, I would use a um, sponge. So let's just zoom in so that you could see. I have some redness going on on the sides of my nose. And really dark, dark circles. And some blemishes on my cheeks. So, yeah, let's see. Sabi nga niya, high coverage sa siya. High coverage siya. So, let's see if nakocover niya yung aking mga imperfections. Hopefully. So, I'll just pump one pump on the back of my hand. Hello, walang lumabas. <laughs> tino yung lumabas sa kanya. Ganyan lang siya. Nagra-run siya sa hand ko. Hindi tulad nung um, powderless liquid for cover foundation. <laughs> Nasa hulo ko na yung pangalan. Sobrang haba. Nag-stay nag put lang siya. Ito ano, medyo liquidy. Mas liquidy siya dun sa um, sa isang foundation. But then, yeah, let's try. <laughs> Ang puti. <laughs> Guys, tignan nyo, middle shade na to ha. Imagine nyo na lang kung ano, yung number one nito. <laughs> number three na tong shade na to. Wala rin siyang scent. Actually, meron. Para siyang, para siyang minty. Ayan, I like to focus more on the center of my face. Kasi dun lang naman talaga merong mga imperfection. Para talaga siyang may mint na ano. Amoy. Hindi ka kung gusto ko ba yun or hindi. So, ayan. Naubos ko na yung one pump sa aking left side of my face. So, as you can see, um, feeling ko nagre-reflect lang siya sa light. Kasi when I swatch it on my hand, I thought na yun yung skin tone ko. But, pero parang ano, parang ang light niya sa face. Ayan. Na-cover niya yung dark circles ko, which is good. And, um, yung redness nung sa around my nose, nawala din. But, then, meron ako nun dito, hindi niya masyadong na, um, conceal. And then, medyo parang rough yung pag yung application. Parang hindi siya ganun ka-smooth tignan. And then, na-emphasize niya din yung aking pores. Alam ko, nakikita niyo ba sa camera? But then, yun nga, na-emphasize niya yung um, pores dito. High coverage, mm, na-conceal naman niya yung um, aking dark circles and the redness around my nose. Other blemishes sa um, cheeks, 
So, masabi ko na rin na high coverage din. So, let's try sa um, right part ng face using the blender. So, yun. Gagamit din tayo ng one pump sa kabilang face. Yan nga. Medyo liquidy nga kasi siya. So, yun. So, let's just apply that one bit and then apply it under my eye. Sobrang problema ko talaga yung ano, yung nose ko kasi nagbabalat siya. Ang hirap niyang applyan ng foundation. Hindi siya kumakapit. Hindi siya kumakapit kasi wala yung skin niya. Mawit na isang kamay ko, yung kanang kamay naman. <laughs> We're done with the both sides of the face. And for the left part, which I used a sponge, mas better yung coverage. Hindi mas better yung coverage. Mas better yung application. Mas smooth. Wait, kukuha ako na ang pointer. <laughs> Hindi tulad dito sa um, left part, medyo nakikita yung... Um, pores dito. Unlike dito, hindi masyadong nakikita. Mas seamless yung coverage. Pero, feeling ko mas sheer yung um, coverage dito. Unlike dito, mas ano siya, mas natatakpan niya yung blemishes dito. But then, dito medyo naging sheer yung coverage. Siguro dahil dump yung sponge. So, yun. Pero kung pag-uusapan natin is yung, is yung heaviness ng product, mas nafe-feel ko yung heaviness ng product sa left side which I use a brush and then sa right side naman, hindi ko masyadong ma-feel tsaka parang halos wala talaga kasi nga, yun sa sponge yung applicator. Pero, most of the time, ganun naman talaga. Pag sponge yung ginamit mong applicator, parang mas nagiging lightweight siya. Yun, yun nga lang, mas nagiging sheer yung coverage. Pero, Yun nga, nasasayo na din kung anong gusto mong gamitin or anong mas feel mo. Maglalagay ako ng another layer just to see if buildable ba yung coverage and kung hindi pa siya magkikake. So, let's apply another layer. Done na tayo sa second layer for the left part of my face. And maganda naman siya. Hindi siya kiki tignan. And hindi rin siya makapal tignan. It's just na ano. Medyo mas na-cover up niya yung pores ko. Hindi na masyadong um, visible. But hindi pa rin ganun ka-smooth yung application. So, ayan, wala na yung dark under eyes ko. Para na rin siyang katumbas ng conceal. Pag nag-conceal ka ng, ng eyes mo. As in like full conceal. And then, sa cheeks ko, wala na rin masyadong, ano, hindi ko na, hindi na rin visible yung blemishes. Ito, talagang meron ako nito, ewan ko, contour line. <laughs> Parang meron, nakakontour na ako kahit hindi ako nakakontour. So, ayan, normal lang yan sa skin ko. So, hindi naman ako masyadong, ano dyan, kasi parang natural na contour na. Pero, visible pa yung ibang moles. Pero hindi naman, kasi hindi ko naman tinatry na i-cover sila. So, let's do another layer for the right side of my face. And, I, syempre, um, gamitin pa rin natin yung beauty. Ay, uh, yung sponge. So, ayan, we're done for the both sides of the face. Like I said earlier, mas lighter talaga yung feeling kapag sa pag pag gumamit ka ng sponge para mag-blend. Um, gumamit ka naman ng brush, dun lumalabas naman yung pagiging high coverage niya, which is good. High coverage, yes, medium to high coverage. So, I'll say that it is a high coverage foundation. Blends easily. Yes, it blends easily. Hindi rin ako nakapa... Hindi rin siya mahirap i-blend. And then, lightweight. Um, yes, and no. Kapag gumamit ka ng brush, hindi siya lightweight. Pero kapag gumamit ka naman ng sponge, doon siya nagiging lightweight. So, yun. But compared to other makeup, of course, um, like L'Oreal and Revlon, mas, um, mas sabi ko mas lightweight siya compared to the um, 
high coverage foundation ng ibang drugstore brand. Yun, um, matte yung finish niya which is good kasi most of um, Japanese brand foundation are mattes. And bira ka na makita ng, um, ng dewy finish na foundation dito. So, yun, most of the time matte yung finish ng foundation nila. So, which is good for me kasi I have oily skin. So, para sa akin, na-claim niya na yung tatlong claims niya. But then again, gusto ko pa rin i-try kung ano pa siya. Long wearing ba siya? Kasi, um, sayang naman kung bibili ka ng foundation tapos hindi naman siya long wearing. I'll just finish the rest of my makeup and I will see you back yes. later. So, I'm done with my full makeup. Already past 4, near 4.30. So, we're just going out to do some grocery shopping. I'll update you guys later if kung ano nang nangyari sa aking foundation. For now, okay naman siya. I just wanna test how long it would stay on my face. So yeah, I'll update you one hour, two hours later. So bye. Hey guys, so I'm back for my update and it's been like four hours since I applied this foundation and yeah, it's already 8.15 in the evening and yeah, wala na grocery lang kami and yun lang, nag-bike bike. Pero hindi naman maaraw sa labas kanina. It's really, ano ba yung suzushi? Um, it's a little bit cloudy, so hindi naman ganun kainit. Pero I can see that I am really oily on my cheeks and on my T-zone area. Okay, Tokyo Secret Skin Maker Zero. <laughs> ano ba kasi tayo? <laughs> The Base Zero Foundation. Um, yun, Feeling ko okay naman siya kasi hindi rin naman ako super oily. Hindi tulad sa ibang foundation na talagang kala mo greasy na. Ano, nag-cake na yung sa gilid ng nose ko. Which is 4 hours pa lang yun guys. 4 hours and nag-cake na siya. Pero yung mga blemishes ko, hindi, na, hindi pa rin naman lumalabas. It's just a little bit cakey. But then, syempre, kung gagawin ko itong pang everyday wear, hindi siya pwede na ganito. Yung 4 hours pa lang cakey na siya. No way. Uh, mind you guys, hindi pa ako nag-retouch. I just retouched my lipstick kasi nawala siya kanina dahil kumain ako. Yun lang yung problema ko is nag-cake yung yung sa gilid ng nose ko and parang nabura na yung foundation ko dito and hindi ko rin alam kung bakit hindi naman ako nagpunas ng nose kanina hindi siya pang matagal ang foundation kasi nga for 4 hours ko pa lang siyang suot and and wala rin naman ako masyadong ginawa lumabas lang ako na grocery and tawag dito kumain tas hindi pa maaraw kanina pero ano medyo nag ano na siya nag cake na siya Pero yun lang naman sa gilid ng nose ko kasi um, sa lahat ng foundation na ginagamit ko ngayon, nagkikake talaga siya sa gilid ng nose ko kasi ano, nagbabalit yung nose ko these days. Yun. But, yeah. Maybe, ano, kapag medyo better na yung condition ng skin ko, mas magiging okay siya. Pero, now, hindi ko gusto yung, hindi ko gusto yung pagkikake niya sa gilid ng nose ko. Yun, guys. Hindi ko alam kung may re-recommend ko to sa inyo. Kasi nga, para sa akin, hindi rin naman siya, um, ganun, ka, ano, ka, ano yung tawag dun? Na, hindi niya ako napawaw. <laughs> dito let kay powderless for cover liquid foundation ng haba niya talaga magkit impressive <laughs> kasi na stand talaga ako dun kay ano kay powderless kasi ano grabe talaga yung coverage niya is a lot higher than um the base zero and yeah pero well, yun lang ang ganda ng packaging and magka price lang naman sila so it depends on your skin type and yeah i'm really really oily person kaya hindi rin talaga siya effective sa akin pero ayun okay din naman siya i think i can work with this kapag ano na pag siguro pag lalabas lang ako sa glit and yun kailangan ko lang kumeme <laughs> So, yun guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and yeah, if you haven't subscribed yet in my channel, please click the subscribe button down below and I would really, really appreciate that. So, thank you for watching guys. Love you.